In this video, we're going to be looking at the cup and handle pattern. And some of the objectives discussed include recognizing the instance of such a pattern, identifying the point of where the pattern completes, and deriving our favorite one-to-one -one minimum price projection targets. And in this video, it might be a uh, shorter explanation, but there is no inverted cup and handle pattern. That being said, some people will invert it as another pattern, but it's not conventional to do so. So for this video, I decided to stick with convention and just do the normal cup and handle pattern. And there's potentially some ambiguity over exactly what form the handle, which you'll come to see, takes. Is it a descending channel, a horizontal channel, or a mini rounding bottom? It can depend on the specific example, but the important point is that we have a rounding bottom with some kind of pullback before the breakout. And this pullback is what forms the handle. So let's begin with a little bit of introduction. A cup and handle pattern is essentially a bullish reversal pattern. It is essentially a rounding bottom with a handle. And this handle can take on a few different forms. It could be a descending channel, which we have an example here. This is the descending channel area of the handle as uh, we've got the example of. And it could also take the form as a second miniature rounding bottom. That uh, could be an instance in some cases. But the important thing in terms of form is that there is a rounding bottom, which we have here, the rounding bottom, which is the cup area, followed by some sort of pullback. Now, in this case, we've got a descending channel as the pullback, which is the handle and as long as you have this formation of something that is referred to as the handle, then you have a cup and handle formation occurring. So the pattern can be considered complete once price breaks out of the handle. And this usually means when the price breaks above the beginning of the handle, but it could also refer to a bullish breakout of a channel if that is how the handle forms. So you could have the handle just breaking before a channel forms, or you could have a channel as we have here forming and then you have a breakout of that channel and that's when the completion of the pattern occurs and with regards to volume volume will usually decline in that first half of the cup and as you've had that low made in you can see that there's a bounce of price and we don't go lower than this point as you have that low made you would expect to see the volume pick up and when you have the consolidation phase of the handle volume should look to dissipate a little bit and then expand once again on the breakout. So let's look at an example. This is an example of a cup and handle pattern forming in AT&T shares. Each candle here represents a single day as the chart is for a daily set of candlesticks. Each candlestick is a single day. So determining price targets from cup and handles is relatively straightforward. And to do so, you would measure the greatest vertical depth of the cup, which is between the lowest low, as we're pointing out here, and the breakout level on the end of the cup area. So we've got this as that height, shown by this blue dotted horizontal line. And that distance is then projected at the point of breakout for you to get your one-to-one -one target. And then you put another one's worth of that height on top of that one-to-one -one target to get you your two-to-one -one target. And we can see that both targets are met easily here. This is a little bit of resistance before the rally continues in AT&T shares. And the two-to-one target is quite a significant area of resistance too. So to conclude, there's a concise overview of cup and handle patterns that we will have looked at here. And they are not the most frequent chart pattern to form because they usually take quite a while to develop, but they do offer very good potential opportunities as momentum shifts to the upside. Large moves often follow the breakout of the handle, so it can be very beneficial to identify potential cup and handle patterns forming early on.